Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Got a little bit of cloud action, but that should be intermittent, so it shouldn't be too bad. But we are back for round two of uh, chasing those bonefish and redfish on the flats. So I waited for another tide cycle, so we've gone through a full change. So we're back to another high tide during the day and then uh, a low tide in the evening time. It's not as low of a tide, a negative tide as that last one, but hopefully it's going to be low enough where I'll be able to see those uh, redfish tailing in the evening because the sun is going down and I can't really see in the water. So the only thing I could see is their actual tails. Uh, but otherwise, I am going to just go strictly out to that flat, even though the water's up, and I'm just going to pull around as quietly and just see if I could find those uh, bonefish and redfish and see if they're on that same schedule. And if we could find those, then we've got a pattern established, and then we're set for a while. So anyways, let's head on out there. All right, so here's the flat I want to work, but uh, the water needs to drop about a foot, foot and a half. These clouds need to go away. And it's definitely a little too ripply with all those other conditions. I can't see anything. So I think I'm going to go do a bait check real quick. As soon as the sun pops out, then I'll come back. Because that's all I really need is visibility. But uh, yeah, let's go see if there's any bait around. I saw two redfish there. I think those sharks spooked them out. Let's see if they'll come back out. Or that shark will go back in there and scare them out. Come out and play redfish. Definitely redfish. That's a good sign. There he is right there. Staying underneath those trees. Oh, he's coming out. I got him. Got him. Oh, look at all of them. Bucktail jig for the win. You can't go in with your buddies. Oh, oh, greedy Steve. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, get him out of there. Oh, shark. Oh, no. Does he got me in the trees? Oh, <laughs> greedy Steve uh, wants to be greedy Steve, but I can't. Uh, uh, look at all the red fish in there. They're like, what is going on? Done? Come on, be done. Ugh. Oh, 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 there's another one there. He's hungry. Esky shrimp. If you would tame down just a little bit. Well, this is not on the flats like I wanted, but it is our nice red. Oh no, don't get on there. Oh no. I'll do that. Nice redfish. Perfect spot. Big ol' boy. Nice. Alrighty. There we go. All about the bait bucktail jig for the win. <laughs> That's a chunky. Nice spot there. Pretty. Well, this is our target species, but oh, they're still in there. But not how I want to catch them. All about the debate bucktail jig it's always a favorite with the snook and redfish I am all right I'm gonna see if the other ones will come out and play there he goes That's what we're looking for found a nice school of them <sighs> nice Got the wrong shirt on though. <laughs> I still see them cruising the edge, so 
but I don't have my anchor right and I'm too close to the mangroves. So I'm gonna reset here. Back away from it a bit. A little bit too close, it dragged me all the way in there. Oh, see there he is right there. So that's how easy it's supposed to be. So I got rid of that oily rag, fixed my uh, crack there, and I caught fish just like that. So that is good to go. Let's catch some more. I'm swimming out there. Oh, he's looking at it. Oh, I can't see, where did he go after it? He was swimming at it and missed it. Oh, no, he was there. God, I can't even see him because of the glare. Oh, got him. Oh, another one's coming out there. Greedy Steve. Oh, these guys are just a little too big for me to greedy Steve it. Look at all that mud that got kicked out. This is another hard puller. There goes the other one there. Who needs the flats? Come on this side. No, no. Nope. Stay away from the anchor. He's still a little green. Oh, look at those fellows over there. Oh, all over there. They're right there. Oh, greedy Steve. Greedy Steve. All right. Where are you guys at? Free food. There's some nice mangroves. Oh, it does. All right. Looks like they they gave up. Oh, there is one over there. Oh, oh no, he didn't look at it. Not a very good cast. All right, let's land this guy. Another beauty. Yeah, I saw him go out there and then he was chasing it like mouth open. I could see inside his mouth and the lure was kind of coming about mid water column. So he was coming up after it. Then he didn't grab it and I didn't see anything. So I just kind of gave up. But then he came back and whacked it. So it all worked out. Yeah. There we go. Number two. All about the bait bucktail jig. <laughs> they love it. Another perfect hook set. There it goes. All right. We did a good job. Give him time to relax. I didn't even see a spot. Yep, just another single. 
got that bl beautiful blue. Look at that. Oh, that's the reflection off the kayak. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, guy. He's just go up in there. There he goes. <sighs> nice. There. The throw cast. Oh, look, turn around. Oh, another one got it. Oh, spit it out. That was my patented uh, throw cast. Oh, he had it. He just started swimming towards me. I could see his mouth. All right, we got like a 20 minute window here between the clouds. So I ran out to the flats. So I'm gonna get set up kind of in the center there. I think what I'm gonna do is try to find a uh, somewhat sandy patch and just anchor up so when that sun goes away uh, I'll just sit there and just kind of scan that sand. Still got about a foot and a half of uh, water drop to go so a couple more hours so we'll see how it mates up. Yeah we're way too deep. It's probably close to three feet. Not even more than that. There's some shallower spots up in there so I might kind of burn some time there but it's really hard to see with a little bit of ripples. I got the sun for now, but very difficult, too deep. All right, I finally found a kind of a workable zone. Got sandy bottoms, a little bit of broken bottoms here. Got a little bit of clear sun there. The winds are kind of dying down just a little bit. So this is the area that I'm gonna put some quality time in, see what I see. I've run over redfish before. This is kind of the area that I saw those bonefish the other day. But that was the first time I saw the bonefish. But I always jump a one or two redfish over here, so it's worth kind of working it slow. Well, the clouds are definitely not cooperating. So that's pretty much gonna kill the bonefish or any sight fishing on the water. So my only chance is gonna be uh, tailing and the water's still about two foot. We need it to drop at least a foot at the minimum. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough sun or not. Uh, in the meantime, I went ahead and uh, rigged my fly rod. I took off that uh, smaller fly um, and then put on a crab fly. So that gives a little bit better presentation. So uh, that'll at least get us ready for uh, any redfish there. So. I might just move on back to where I found the redfish and just sit out there because uh, I'm just not going to be able to see anything without any sun. A school of bonefish swim by. They just went right through there. That was crazy. They literally, I just stood up, turned around, and there's four of them just right that way. What the heck? Well, I turned around and saw that thing coming, so I'm gonna try to get out of its way, get closer to the launch. I can see the rain hitting over there, how it lightens up those back islands. Got some rains in between there, so it's just coming on this side of these islands. Well, I think I'm going to call it. There's just no chance of any sun coming out here. Got some storms brewing there. And uh, I still need the water to drop about a foot before I could uh, get a chance at the tailing. So my odds are not very good. Plus tomorrow I got to uh, pull a flats boat around so I need to get things organized. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just call it. Um, I'm probably... Two days would have been perfect. One day before would have been okay. Um, each tide cycle moves forward every 50, 55 minutes. So two days ago, uh, I would have had two hours earlier flat, uh, shallow time, low tide, and that would have been perfect, but the winds weren't cooperating. So it's just a matter of you have to have wind, current, tide 
everything in the right order and then things will work but if one is out of whack or two is out of whack then it's just not going to happen for that specific technique but i got a couple of redfish so i'm happy about that uh, i'm a little better in sync so very happy about that so anyways uh thanks for watching and i will see you next video bye still beautiful